Hey guys, welcome. Monty back playing some more Train Fever. This is part six. I'm going to talk about building a multi-use train this episode. Maybe not always the most efficient way to go, uh, but it does work nonetheless. Uh, so I want to show you kind of like the tricks and how I go about building a new track, okay? So, very first thing is let's put a quick pause on the game. And what I want to do is connect Eastley here with Axminster here. And the reason why I'm wanting to use a multi-purpose train in this case is I think as far as the passengers, it's going to be no problem. They're going to want to transport back and forth. But also notice that there is a forest, which I'm going to put up uh, right about there. Okay. And then also we have the sawmill, which I'm going to put up right about here. And let's go ahead and bring up... I'm going to bring up the stations for both once I bring them up, not the actual town. But as you can see, Eastleigh, it's doing fine. It's actually getting goods from our old goods track. And then Axminster, it is also getting 32 out of 32. But they're not paying me the money, and Monty wants his money. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this up here. And the very, very first thing I'm going to do is take out, hmm, maybe a $2 million loan should do it. So let's go ahead and just bump this up to 7 million, 1.97. Okay, and uh, so now that this is here, I want to keep an eye on this production. And let's rebuild this passenger line because I want to build a two-track system here. I don't need to mess with the goods line because I don't want to be bringing goods here. I want to only be bringing goods the other direction. Now, it probably would help to be bringing goods both ways as far as the train line would make more money. However, I still want my other cargo line to be who's bringing goods over here, if you know what I mean. Now, I added some more bus loops and things like that, but I'll probably just kind of cover that next episode because I don't want these episodes to stretch out too long. So, Let's just focus on building out this new train line. Now, I'm taking a look at this, and I don't have much room, and I know I want to double track this up. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to be doing some deleting and changing some things up here. I don't want to get rid of this station quite yet, even though it is quite enjoyable when I screw up and blow these things up. But I want to rebuild this train line here to go in a whole new direction. Uh, so I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to go with my terraforming tool. Let's just equal this out to make it look prettier. I'm just kind of paint jobbing this around, blah, 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 like this, make it look all nice, even it all out. And there we have it, okay? It's costing me money, but it's not really costing me too much. Uh, as soon as I say that, I lose 0.03 million so but that's good right there I am going to build the train station here so let's get these out before they upgrade the game's paused so we're gonna be safe on that and all right let's go with train stations passenger line first two tracks and let's see 240 meter can I even can I squeeze that guy in here oh just short so let's stick it to 160 it's still early in the game and if we have to build some more longer bigger stations later on we will but for now I'm gonna stick with this guy right here I'm gonna push it down as far as I can so I get some room to work with here this is gonna be a little close let's see what I can do here uh, oh, let's see collision 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 so if you're dealing with this what I would suggest is let's go cancel let's just try to build this little track first right under the bridge 120, now connect it. Yeah, see, now it's connecting it, no problem. So that got us under there. But now before I forget, I want to reconnect this line. So let's keep this looking fun and cool over here. Let's go ahead and lift this up like this. I'm going to keep it away from this road intentionally so I can, uh, so we'll see some growth there. Same thing on this side. Looks like we've got some, some stuff growing on here. We'll keep this down kind of right by this station here. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. That looked happy right there. Okay, now let's see if I can get this going this way. Yes, sir. Boom. Okay, nice. Connect, connect, connect. Now, before I forget anything here, let's go ahead and bring up my managed lines back up since we destroyed our 
this line right here. Uh, Eastly, it's still showing up that it's working due to the fact that that station, as you can see, I'm pointing to my screen like you can see, uh, this station right here, it's giving me that little upgrade option, a little timer, but I'm gonna go ahead and say no, because I'm not rebuilding right there, I'm going here. So let's go ahead and add station and have them go right here. So now that line is back, back up and running. Oh, sorry, let me put that down there. This line right here, it's now back up and running, okay? Okay, that's looking good. We've got one, 1 1.3 million left to go. So let's do the expensive stuff first. Let's throw down all our stations. So I want to build cargo and I want two tracks. So let's put this here. Uh, Nancy and Mary, those are our keys, N and M, to rotate this. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just throw this, how about right there, okay? And then I'm gonna wanna build another one down here, okay? Uh, maybe right, right here. Oh, that's going to be kind of close, but we'll see. Okay, uh, because now I need to put a passenger, one last passenger line here. Uh, only needs to be one track. And let's see about this. Uh, it's going to be 87,000 wasted if this doesn't work. Uh, my concern is that, see how that goods line? Yeah, see that track? It's up way too high. So I think I'm gonna have to, let's play with this a little bit. Let's build it like here, perhaps. No, like uh, maybe like this, okay. And then my thinking is I'm going to build an extended loop. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna build a loop uh, this way <clears throat> and maybe connect this guy right right in here maybe like this let's blow this guy up under construction and close this road off here let's see if i can get this guy connected collision uh that collision i think is due to this guy let's blow him up and let's build it now now it might have an issue oh never mind there was a car there but it seemed to work out Okay, it didn't overly destroy me there. And now I'm gonna build a little road out this way maybe. No, nope, nope, nope. Uh, but I'm gonna change this up. I wanna get rid of that stop. I wanna get rid of this building because it's cheaper. I kinda wanna get rid of that one, but too expensive. And let's loop this around like this. Okay, and loop this around like this. Good, good, good. Now. I'm gonna build my stop again real quick now or I will forget, so let's do that. This, I just built a nice loop here, and look at that! That track automatically re-looped out to here. Did that really just happen? Did it really just make the King Street stop all by itself and I didn't have to do anything? Look at that, amazing. Just move the station and the loop moved with it. I was gonna go re redo my loop, but redid it on its own so good on it all right so we're doing good now let me click on my little stations i'm going to put this station here nothing waiting i know i'm going to put this station here okay and let's see what else we got we got we got we got we got this station here okay i'm going to move this up here it's a lot of screens i know but i want you guys to see what's going on as it builds up okay and this station's going to go right up here nicely done now it's train track time. Let's go ahead and start building this line out like this. Okay, now I also want to build a, a secondary track in a second, uh, but let me see how easy this is going to want to connect to this guy right here. Oh, it wants to build tunnels and all kinds of fun stuff. Should we? I mean, it's only 650k, that's a lot of money. But that's a nice straight track and tunnels are cool, right? Let's make it cool again. It's just money, right? Pfft, whatever, did I say two million? I meant four million. We're at 8.6 million, that's, that's probably all I want to spend. Okay, so let's go with a check mark like we love it because we're gonna say that that's okay. Now what I'm curious about is let's see if we can build a nice little pass loop here. Um, that's gonna go over and actually this is gonna be a dual line track so 
Oh, nope, nope. Doesn't look like that's gonna work out well at all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's eh, kinda interesting. It's kinda like a two tunnel system, but I was wondering if now, uh, if this would've worked better if I just built like two lines right next to each other like that. How does that work? Oh yeah, see, that just kinda extends the tunnel out and it doesn't cost quite so much. That's another option like that. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And I think that's the direction we're gonna wanna go. So let's build this out. <clears throat> we all make mistakes, right? We're all only human. Ah, even me with my train building, we're just human. So let's straighten this back out. Okay, there we go. Ah, that wasn't a big waste of money. So let's bring these guys together. Alright, 120. Ooh, I can get 120, 120, and no collisions, right? 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 No? Okay, that's close enough. Okay, not gonna take the time to make that crazy. Alright, we've got a dual track tunnel. I like how easy that was. Now, this got a little crazy. I, I did the wrong track here, so man, man, I am just. I'm hurting today with my misplacements of track. No! It wants to do that whole track. So that's a thing that slight eh, kind of bugs me. When you build a whole line out in one swoop, when you try to delete it, it's wanting to delete the whole thing. So let's work with this. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. I'm gonna build this out up this way. Okay, like this. Now what I'm hoping is if I go this way, this, I can, can I do something weird like this? If I get 120, 120 all the way like that, okay, now I'm hoping I can kind of blow some stuff up here and make this make a little bit more sense. For now, just because I bugged it up, I didn't bug it up, but I, I did it in a little weird manner. Uh, I might just add an extra little pass loop here in a way. So let's have this guy connect here. No? No? Why not? Why? Why are you angry at me? So let's go just make it split off and then connect. Collision due to terrain issues. All right, what's your terrain problem? Not if I go that way. Seem to work fine. Okay, so that's interesting. What did I do here? Actually, it kind of lets you choose what side of the tunnel you want to go through. I don't like it, so I'm going to fix it. Now I'm going to just blow that up, I'm gonna blow that up, and I don't want to blow up. Okay, I just want to blow that up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's kind of a way to get around that. Just build some crossovers, then you can connect them, okay? Okay, we're on track. All right, there we go. It ain't nothing but money. Cool. First connection, connected. Now, let's go ahead and just figure this madness out, because it's right here. This is probably gonna, okay, thank you. I thought we were gonna get a bunch of slope too high, slope too high, slope too high. Uh, okay, so I wanna create a secondary line here and then maybe connect this uh, as close to this as possible. There's my 120 split, boom, yes. All right, thank you, thank you for your cooperation. Ah, uh, remember those few episodes? Oh, actually, I think it was in my live episodes. It was just constant battles with uh, slope too high. Just, I mean, just barely. Barely, barely, barely off. Okay, so now I'm going to just do it kind of uh, step by step. So if I do delete, I don't have to delete the whole thing. The whole shebang. There we go. Now let's get an above view from here. And try to connect this guy here. What, what, what? Terrain problems. You don't give me more problems. Where? What's your problem? Let's see. Oh, you don't, terrain collision. Train collision, no. Um, maybe. Just need to work it out a little bit more. Okay, we got that side connected. Now, what's your beef? Ah, now you have no beef. Your terrain has been fixed. It's kind of ugly right there. Well, not so ugly as it is just odd, but I think we're connected. So let me bring up the cargo map. Okay, cargo map is up. And 
and let's see what we've got. We've got our production going. Uh, what I want to do is cutthroat time. Let's fix this up so the cargo goes where we want it. So I'm going to make a new loop. We're going to say, let's pick up passengers. Let's see. Let's pick up a passenger. And then, oh, 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 sorry. New line, new line. Let's close all that madness. Let's go passengers and then pick up the logs and then drop the logs off. Okay, then uh, it will probably pick up the goods when it drops the logs off. Then you're gonna go drop off your passengers, pick up passengers. Since you already have the goods, I want you to skip the north track, and yes, I'm talking to the imaginary train that doesn't exist yet. Then I want you to drop the goods off here to deliver to the town, and then go pick up more passengers. Now, I'm curious, I don't think I need to actually put another stop here for them to actually bring the passengers back, because since that's already stop one, they already know to bring the passengers there. There's a lot of smart AI to this. And uh, there we go, I think we're doing good. If we look at the line, you can actually see that it worked out. Um, no, it actually didn't work out. See how the lines are going opposite direction? Perfect timing for me to show you how one-way signals work. Uh, I want to show you on the other track because it did work out, but it was pointed out. Notice that these little signals have all three lights on. Now, I thought it was kind of bugged out that uh, when I clicked on one way, it just really wasn't making things one way because it doesn't, it's not so obvious. I'd rather have a scroll down where it says right now, uh, like multi-direction or two-way, seeing as you can't go more than two ways, and then switch it to one way. But what it is, is when I click on it, notice that this little signal turns to one light. And now that it's highlighted in blue, that means one way. Keep in mind, this was already going one way in the proper direction, but it still could cause some confusion. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and say, hey, I want this track to be one way, and kind of fix things like that. Uh, same thing, these could be one ways, these could be one ways. Now, you might have an issue where, for example, this yellow line, it needs to be two ways because the train has to go in both directions. If you accidentally said one way, it's gonna go away because the train can't use the line anymore because it's going, I can't go that way and back, so I'm going to just sit still and do nothing. So if you're seeing, hey, why are my trains not going, make sure you didn't accidentally put a signal to one way when you're just messing with them and clicking on them. When you get this nice overhead view though, just remember that you can actually see the signals that have the little one light and the three lights. So that's a little bit more into the depth of how signals can actually work. Uh, so those are all one way. We're gonna switch these to one way. And then I'm gonna go back to our current line the other ones, whatever, it's all working fine right now, so I don't really want to mess with it too much. Now, what I want to do is, oh, I've got to connect this depot back onto this line. This guy right here, let's just connect it up here, and then before the tunnel, he's going to join in. Speed doesn't matter, because this is just to get the train started. Oop, I shouldn't have done that. So, for example, let's say it's a, well, where's my collision error? Oh, now you're not going to give me the collision error, there you go. Uh, but if it was there, remember, you can just grab this little circle and drag up and down and all that stuff if you want to move your, your end point. So I like where it is now. I'm happy with that. It's looking good. I think we've got the line built. We just need the signals. So I want to make sure that the train stops. So if there's a train in the station, I, I don't want the train to wait all the way at the previous stop. I want him to come up here to stop. So that's why I'm going to put that guy here. Let's look at our line. And I'm gonna set this guy. It looks like it already kind of fixed itself when I put that signal down. I should have clicked on this first so you could see it actually change. But now, with this line up here, let me click on line one. That I'm hoping will keep, yes, that will keep the blue line up and running. So there we have it. We've got the trains going in the right, right directions uh, through the tunnel. I like my trains going right on the right side. Okay, so just so my trains don't get backed up again, I'm gonna add some more signals. And I'm gonna go ahead and make them one ways just to make sense. Uh, so for if there was a train in the station, I want the next train behind it to be able to keep moving up and it'll, the signal, it'll pay attention to this signal compared to, oh, there's a train at the station, so I need to wait further back. Same thing, I'm gonna do the opposite side of the track. Remember, because I'm looking at it like this, for this station, okay? 
Okay, same thing here. I'm going to add, oh, we had our autosave, kind of lagged it up a little bit. Hopefully that autosave fix is going to happen soon because I'm getting so many saved files and it's filling up my hard drive. Me hard drive, yar. All right, we be pirate train fevers today. Um, hum, 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 it's looking good. Let's go tracks one way, one way, one way. It's gonna run fine anyway, but it's good to go ahead and set these one way just because we want them to only be one way. So let's make it logical, okay? All right, we've got 370K. I don't think that's gonna be enough to buy the full train set, but let's go ahead and get our Borsig. Let's go ahead and add, oh, let's see. I'm gonna press play now because it's July 9, 1864, and I would like to actually get some new passenger trains, which in 1965, we actually are going to have that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the two goods right here. Okay, it'll give me time to maybe go around and talk about some of the other things I did and manage my loops while we wait for 1865 to come along. All right, so we have our train here. Where is it, where is it, where is it? All right, it's got our train, it's got two goods, and I think I'm gonna want three trains running on this system. Instead of putting a lot more cars on these on one train, uh, I prefer to have more trains with less cars and up the frequency tends to make the goods move faster, they're not dropping off, because goods, passengers, all that, if it sits around for more than 20 minutes, that's why you might noticing like goods and passengers just magically disappearing from your trains. Uh, that's the, that's your problem right there. Okay, so we're about to go broke. I'm gonna speed the game up so we can hit our proper time in years of 1865, and let's go look around. Let's see how things are doing. Let's look at our lines. Okay, our goods line from Eastleigh is still having some trouble. So what's going on here? What is going on here? Where are our goods coming from? Do we have goods coming in from anywhere else? Oh, I do. Ah, see the goods are still traveling from here around and I don't want that. So, stop it. Because remember, I already blew this one up here, but I didn't blow this side up here, so stop. Okay, so because I'm not making money off of this guy, so it doesn't really hurt to take it away. I'd rather have the production facilities that I'm running transportation to, to work, okay? So now we can see that the sawmill and the forest, they're still working, trucking along. As soon as I get my train line going though, I want these goods to stop transporting here and I want this wood to stop transporting this way. Uh, so I'm going to delete this line. Uh, okay, where are we? October 9, 1864. It's hard to say 18. Uh, it's, remember when it went from like 1999 to 2000? Like even that was crazy. I, anytime it hits a new year, I get all confused and uh, say it all wrong. Crazy, we're in 2014 already. Almost 2015. Crazy, crazy times that we live in. So how's everything else doing? I built some more stuff. I like, For example, I built an oil loop. Uh, up here which needs some more vehicles it's only got two vehicles and I think that's what's holding it up so let's click on this little Kirkby station here by road vehicles let's get some more horse wagons going and set those to my oil loop very good it's taking oil to the refinery and then that refinery is dropping the goods off in Kirkby so that should help us make a little bit more money there and I'm even thinking that some of these passenger lines, let's see, how's everyone doing? Oil loops doing good. Almost everything is in the green. This this transportation right here got a little bit held up when I changed my, uh, my track. Oh, what do we have here? I see a train stopped. Oh, we're January 1855. Our Bavarian train is now available. So let me stop. Let's borrow some money. Let's click on our train here. Let's buy trains. Let's add the new Bavarian cars. Let's add two of those. Let's set line to our brand new line one. Boom. Our multi-train is now on the line. So train two, I'm gonna keep this guy here. I'm gonna close out my finances. We know what line one is. We'll open that back up if we need to. We know the one ways are gone. Our signals are placed. I think we're in the green. Okay, uh, 271K, 
Hopefully we remain in the green. But what else is going wrong? I could actually probably add another train line here at some point. They're not losing a terrible amount of money, but I really wish I could get this good here, this goods train. Making a little bit more money. The only way I think I'm going to get this line to make more money is have two trains on the line so I can really pump out more goods. Uh, it's been a while since I've been over here looking. Let's see, we've got goods going easily. That's good. Uh, our passengers, that's doing really well. So I'm going to need to build... Ah, it's only two lines, but that's fine. We've got the two tracks, so I should be able to add quite a few more trains and really up the frequency. Our problem now is money, but our money just went up pretty fast right there and then a month hit and we just lost a lot of money but we've got passengers getting dropped off uh, it looks like our goods are going well here so we got a lot of goods money from that we got 420 in the bank have a good time with that guys and we're moving along okay now that this line's running remember we gotta stop it use my line quit quit it quit 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 it there you go so I don't want to blow this if if I accidentally blew this road up, my goods wouldn't actually be able to get into the town. I don't want that. But what I'm noticing is that we've got to be careful that there's also a, uh, a lumber mill up here, that these lumber might start heading that way. So I want to also blow that road up. And I don't like that this oil refinery is working too. So let's blow that line up uh, because I'm not making money off of any of those. So. I only want my roads connected. Uh, so now I think we're doing good. We've got 24 production on our forest, 25 production on our sawmill. Uh, if we look at, whoop, I almost started blowing stuff up again. Let's look at Axminster. I'm going to blow up an entire town. I want to make sure these goods remain even though I cut off all the other goods. So what we should be seeing, which I am seeing here, is we've got wood here. Uh, goods, nothing waiting, but that looks like a good right there. There's another one. Now our goods are starting to show up. Very nice. Production is still remaining at its maximum. And it looks like both are going to upgrade because I killed off all the other goods. Now this one sawmill is the only production facility for Axminster. So if we get this to continue to grow, we've got passengers. I think we're doing awesome. So we got it built, guys another episode down here's your multi train let's take a ride let's close all this out it's all working good now and enjoy our new line line number two what shall we call this we shall call this the multi-purpose line oh look there's some wood stacks right there very cool let's turn off the cargo who needs to see it ah yes this is what we like to see we're gonna rack in more money i'm gonna throw in some more trains on this line and it's good to be back i've been traveling you don't even know it was a crazy week for work i ended up getting stuck in chicago i had i wish i could have just taken the train i was supposed to fly but i ended up just driving 13 hours straight through the night from chicago to new york uh, or i would have had to just sit in chicago for two days until i could get a plane because someone thought it'd be fun to set themselves on fire in the control tower or whatever happened. I don't even know. All I know is it wasn't good. And uh, yeah, but I'm back playing Train Fever. Awesome times, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.